Hello everyone, welcome to Shoe Voyage. Today we're going over the most requested look that I've ever gotten here on my YouTube. A quick why into why this look was so popular is because I used cool colors against my cool, warm eye color. And I'm gonna explain to you guys what I mean. So the colors that I used were all on the cool side. So cool colors are purple, greens, and blues. Warm colors are orange, red, and yellow. Now I have hazel eyes, so I have a warm and a cool in my eye. Warm being that reddish brown and the cool being the green. And I'm mentioning this because the eyeshadow look that I'm doing today is going to look good with people who have green eyes and brown eyes. The colors that you choose to place near your eye color is going to either intensify or kind of decrease the beauty of your personal eye color. So for instance, if you sat in my chair and you have deep, rich blue eyes, I wouldn't reach for the colors I'm reaching for today. Not that you couldn't, but just wouldn't do them justice, meaning that they won't be as intense as if you used warm colors, such as red, orange, and yellow, because you want to use the opposite colors on the color wheel to bring out your specific eye color. So if you have a cool eye color, blue or green, I doubt any of you have purple, but hey, Elizabeth Taylor had a kind of violet eye color, so it is possible. So if you have those cool leaning colors in your eye, you want to use warm colors such as bronze and gold and burnt umber, kind of red colors, basically warm colors against cool colors. If you guys would like to learn more about specific eye colors and what looks good with like green, hazel, brown, black eyes, blue eyes, let me know. I'd be happy to go over it with you guys. All right, that said, let's go ahead and get into this eyeshadow look and have some fun. I'm gonna start with the Chanel Couture Graphite. I live for these, they're so easy to use. I use them as eyeshadow bases, eyeshadows, as well as eyeliner. They kind of give a rock and roll look as well if you're in a hurry because they have a big round application. They're not small. As an example, here is the Chanel Graphite in the coal pencil and as you can see this one is much bigger compared to this point so what i'm going to do is just place it all over my lid really lightly i don't want too much i'm just using this basically as a base i'm only using one warm eyeshadow color in this look and that is from the palette natasha denona and this is my dream palette i'm going to use this really pretty warmish red color. And the reason I'm using something that's kind of brown and red is because I want to bring out the red tones in my hazel eyes. There's a little bit of that brown that always has a little bit of red in it. So I'm using this eyeshadow to do that. Taking my Delium brush, this is a 776. Add a little bit of that to the brush. Now you guys don't have to use the exact same palette I'm using. Just find colors that are similar. Um, all the products I'm using today I absolutely love. So if you don't have them, great. I'll have them linked down below if you're interested. But most of us have purples and grays. And so I would first look at your makeup stash at home and see what you have. And if you don't have it, well, then you can purchase some of these today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this nice warm purple red and just stick it on the corner here. Now this look is pretty on its own like the two colors I have on, the gray, this kind of reddish purple. If you added a black liner or a chocolate liner or a deep purple, it's such a pretty look to put cool and warm together because cool and warm colors want to stand out individually on their own. You gotta make sure you blend them really well so that they transition nicely and that they don't look like color blocking. Taking the same color, I'm gonna mix a little tiny bit of this purple together and I'm gonna put this on the lash line, tight lining. All right, from there, I'm gonna take an eyeliner now. I'm gonna use the Cajole Eyeliner by Victoria Beckham, and this is in the color Bordeaux. And you're gonna see how similar that eyeliner is to these two colors. So why am I showing you these three together? It's because I'm gonna take my Cajol eyeliner in Bordeaux and go underneath the upper waterline. 
Because this has a purplish red color, it sits right on the border of cool and warm. So it's gonna bring out the brown and the green. Now I'm gonna grab the Navy Noir, which is a cool color. And I'm gonna go right into that lower waterline. And you're really gonna see how this brings out the brown in my eyes because it's a juxtaposition of cool against warm but it's also going to be competing to bring out the green in my eyes because it's cool with cool. I'm taking the nice cushy rubber side and I am blending that across the lower lash line. Hopefully you can see this is really playing with my eye color here. Is it brown? Is it green? It should start looking a little bit like marbleized color where you can't really differentiate the warm and the cool. Now this is where it gets really fun because I'm gonna grab a vivid green and green was all the rage last year and you know what, I'm gonna keep it going because I love a good green shadow. So I'm taking the Ismaia French Industrial Palette and I'm going to use these two bright greens here. I'm gonna start first with this one and I'm going to put it on the inner corner of the eye in a rainbow kind of arc shape. I'm just blending that to the center. And from there, I'm going to grab a little bit of these two greens, mix them together. I'm gonna go right on top of that blue. Grab a smaller brush. This is the Spectrum KJH number 12. And I'm going to bring it up and out. I'm gonna twist it a bit further and I'm going to grab this sparkly black color and I'm gonna go on top of this purple or the reddish purple I should say. And I'm just gonna do the V shape up here. Taking my Delian brush 780, I'm gonna go in now and get this really pretty shimmery color that I'm running out of because I love it so much. I'm going to place that in the inner corner and add a little bit to the brow bone up here. And I'm going to take this gray color and to tap it right in the center. And you might be wondering, why did you even put the purple down if you were going to cover it with the gray? And it's because I'm creating layers of color so that the other colors underneath can kind of come through. So if I just put the black down, it would look really dark. But with the purple underneath, kind of brightens that black a little bit and creates a little more dimension to your color. I'm gonna take this really light, really pretty shimmer color. I'm gonna place it just in the center. I just want a little bit of light to catch that mid point of the eye. Going back with this vibrant green on my Delium 780 brush, just gonna extend it up a bit underneath that black color. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eye and then I'll show you guys what I used for my lips. All right, both eyes done. I went in and added the NARS liquid eyeliner, the Climax one, and I didn't do the liquid eyeliner in the last video, but I wanted to play a little further, so I added a wing. Now what I'm gonna do is add a lip now, and I'm using the new Dior Lip Maximizer, and this is in the color 600 and this is the intense rosewood now for the liner i'm using today is the 04 by victoria beckham and i did do the lip trick look of faking a full lip which is just tightening the lip like this and extending the lip liner over your natural lip line let's go ahead now and add this dior to really bring the look together juicy full lips with no injections we have the final look All right, everyone, another how-to done. If you guys have questions or suggestions, of course, feel free to reach out to me down below. I always appreciate your guys' comments and just your thoughts.
Now, if you like what you're seeing here on my channel, it's easy to support. All you need to do is go ahead and use the affiliate links down below and subscribe. I'm a professional makeup artist for 25 years and it's really important for me on this channel to not only show you guys how to do makeup, but to show you guys how to get the most out of your products. That said, if you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me where we can go over beginner to advanced makeup looks, head over to shrevoyage.com. I'll have that in the description box down below. And if you haven't had enough, you can head over to TikTok or Instagram where I go over many tutorials and show you guys sneak peeks of my life as a professional makeup artist. As always, continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other, be kind, and I'll see you guys in the next video.